of them ones. Two. Two was really good. I know the uh the angle is it's a little weird right now, but to show y'all my sneakers, I had to be like standing up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to be like, cause with the hats, it was a little different. I could sit down with it and then with this, I kind of got to like walk over here to the boxes and then walk back to show you. So, you know what I'm saying? The angle a little different, but we here. But y'all see the title? This is a sneaker collection. This is what y'all been, some of y'all been waiting on, you know what I'm saying? First it was the hats that y'all was waiting on, now it's the kicks. So now we here. Now you about to see what I got. I don't got too many. In my opinion, some of y'all might think, you know, oh, now nah, you got a whole, nah, I don't got, I'm nowhere near where I want to be. You know what I'm saying? I want a whole wall dedicated to my shoe boxes. Right now, I just got a little, 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 little third of a wall real quick. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't got too many, but this video might be a little lengthy. I'm going to let you know right now, but pause it. Pause it right, hold on. That was your pause for you to go and like the video before you even before you even start watching like the video bro subscribe right here somebody sent you subscribe and send it to your mans and send it to somebody else tell everybody to subscribe we here y'all have been doing well though with commenting liking subscribing it's been going up i appreciate all the love i really do yo keep doing it keep it going i want to see y'all laugh i want to see i want to see people reactions and stuff you know what i'm saying i want i love seeing that so thank y'all, I appreciate it. But let's jump in, cause I don't want, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to take too much of y'all time. And I'm trying to record a couple videos today. So let's jump in. Boom. I gotta go as quick as I can, cause this video gonna be too long if I'm, if I'm you know what I'm saying? Boom. Syracuse ones, you know what I'm saying? I know these aren't uh, actual shoe that Jordan released. Um, shout out my boy Mo, Kick Rocks Customs. You know what I'm saying? I know the bottom's a little dirty, whatever. Y'all gonna see that on a couple of these shoes because I wear them and then I'll be like, I'm gonna clean them, I'm gonna clean them. But like with me, I thoroughly clean my shoes. So like I go in the bathroom, spend two hours in the bathroom with the shoe and the toothbrush because I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm bringing six, seven different pairs of shoes in there and I clean thoroughly. So I'll be in there for a while. So sometimes I'll be like, bro, I don't feel like doing that today. It's still some shoes that I gotta clean. You gonna see, you gonna be like, yo, why your shoes look like that? I promise you. I promise you I'm not a clown, I'm not dirty, I just be lazy sometimes, but when I put them on though, when I put them on though, yeah, they gonna look outside the box, brand new, you work. But yeah, shout out my boy, Syracuse ones. These was actually the uh, silver metal ones, they was red with the silver. Not sure if you're familiar with them, and I told him like, yo, I want you to make them into the Syracuse joints, because the dunks is coming, you know what I'm saying? The dunks is coming, believe that. But please believe that, but. The orange, orange is getting to be like one of my top three favorite colors right now. So I was like, yo, bro, you gotta do that for me. So shout out my boy Mo, Kick Rocks Customs, please get up with him. Now, listen, I know, I know, I know, I know. The whole Black Air Force activity, I know, King, I know. Listen, this was an impulse buy. So please don't be looking at me like, I'm not even really in the Air Forces. I really don't like how bulky they are, white, black, Red, orange, I don't care the colorway. I don't I don't really like Air Forces. They're they're way too bulky and I wear a size 12. I don't know how y'all boys that, if you over a size nine, I feel like you shouldn't be wearing Air Forces, bro. Them, they look like little boots on your feet, like, bro. Um, But I had to wear, I was wearing this blue jacket and I was going to a concert and I ain't have nothing but a red, I think I had my red sneakers. I'm about to put on a blue jacket with red sneakers. So I had went to the mall just was like, let me just drop this quick 90, whatever, and we just gonna cop up, and just, you know, not quick 90 like that, like, oh, he got money, nah, I just, I had to do it, I'm not about to go out looking like a goofy, so I just wore all black with the blue jacket, whatever, but this was an impulse buy, don't think I'm just out here copping <laughs> all black horses. Um, this was a cool shoe, I think I'm gonna just walk up for everyone, show y'all, this was a cool little shoe, um, I actually copped it, I think I copped it online at like finish line or something like that. And they sent me the wrong shoe first. I don't understand finish line, which y'all was getting into, just throwing it in a box for real. Same thing with the hat. Y'all just like to be throwing stuff in a box. Don't even match the, the, the shipping statement. You just throw it in there. But um, I peeped these and I like the way that 
I don't know, I just like the colorway of it and the bottom is like neon too, like the orange and then the pink with the blue. I just like the way it all went. The white shoelaces and like on the tongue, it's a little different. It's not stitched on the tongue. So that kind of had me like, yo, this is fire. So um, Puma Riders are what they call it. Puma Riders, not that expensive. I think they like 100 to 80, 90, something like that. Some around 100, it's, it's under 100, I'm pretty sure. But next up, next up, next up, I gotta grab both of these so y'all can see. Um, if you don't know, which you probably don't, but some of them, some of you who don't, I like custom stuff. I like stuff that your boyfriend can't go get. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm playing, but it's a fact though at the same time. Like I like stuff that I can't see the next man with because a lot of days it's really like that Spider-Man meme where everybody pointing at each other in the same fit, the same kicks, the same brands, the same. I don't like that. I hate that. I really do. Um, these are called Nike Internationalists. Uh, it's a running shoe. I like running shoes because you could throw them on with like a cool fit. Maybe you run errands or whatever. You throw them on with a pair of shorts, good socks, whatever. Or, you know, whatever. It's just a throw on shoe. And I actually put, if you could read it, I'm pretty sure you can. It's my favorite word ever. Hustle is on the back. This was a Nike ID creation that I did uh, a little minute ago. I like to call them like the Hornets joints or like my hustle sneak, like the hustle shoes, whatever. That's like one of my favorite words. Hustle is tatted on my body, put it on my shoes. Um, and yeah, it was, you know, that gum bottom. You know, I gotta add a gum bottom if I'm creating it. Um, yeah, it was just like one of those things where I was like, bro, I wanna make these mad nice. I think I was just on Nike ID. And it was like, yo, I wanna make these mad nice. And they didn't come out to a, a crazy price. So I was like, I might as well just grab them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. As those uh, New Balances 597s, they might be a little dirty because I just be throwing these on nowadays. But um, I really liked how the tan, the tan and the green color went together. And you, of course, you see gum bottom. Like I said, look, they a little dirty. But um, I really liked how the tan and the white and the green. That like it's like a, it's like a like a I don't even know what kind of green that is, honestly. It's like a light, light, light teal or something. Um, and I just really liked it because of the tan. And I think I was wearing it. I bought these the same day I bought a shirt to match them. So I bought the shirt first. So I was like, I'm gonna just match the kicks with the shirt. And um, it actually was a perfect match. And then after that, I just started wearing them. They got like this little 3M joint right on the, around the, excuse me, around the toe box. So it was a cool little shoe. I like New Balances. New Balances is cool. It's another running shoe that I just like to have that don't want. You can really do some fly stuff with some of these running shoes. People sleep on running shoes, bro. Um, and some Pumas. Y'all gonna see a couple of these. My dad just loved buying me Pumas for some reason, but I'm gonna show you the pattern. It's like a special, it's like a special pattern on them. Yeah, that. Um, he just, he just, I think he was on vacation. He copped these real simple they called puma suede the suede collection of puma real simple like a cream bottom real simple shoe you know what i'm saying nothing crazy he was on vacation and was like let me get him some shoes i ain't wear them yet that's why you see they so laced um yeah that's those another pair of pumas all blue i don't know if y'all really remember these for the cats that remember it's like a if you know you know kind of thing this is a part of the suede collection but I don't know if y'all remember back in like 2017, 16, 17, when having these made you really hot. It was so many different colors. I only got two colors. Um, and this was one of the colors that almost everybody and their mother had. It was pink, orange, blue, red. Pretty sure they had a green in there. They had neon colors in there. I had copped up on the blue. This was like one of the shoes. I was like, yo, I just got to get a pair. And um, I think I wore them like two or three times. I don't really wear them no more, but I would throw them on though. I would throw them on. Don't ever get the game twisted. Just to be outside, you know, give people a little bit of nostalgia, you know what I'm saying? Uh, another custom shoe. I love Reeboks. I think I started copping up on Reeboks because, just because of the classicness, like I told y'all, um, classicness, not even a word, but you know, just because of how classic they are, I told y'all, I'm into like that 90s culture. This what that's what Reeboks are. You know what I'm saying? That 90s culture, you know, hip hop, 90s, all of that. 
So and then I wanted to I wanted to broaden my horizons with my shoe game. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like I can't just be walking around with straight Jordans. You know what I'm saying? So and then on the back, you could read it correctly. It says Jiggy on both shoes. That was also, still is also one of my favorite words of all time. I like that word a whole lot. If you know, my Instagram name used to be the Jiggy Con. Like all the, I just like that word a whole lot. That was another, that wasn't Nike ID, I'm wild. And that was Reebok, I guess you could say Reebok ID. I don't, I don't know what to call it, but I was on Reebok and they said I could customize the shoe. So I was like, yeah, I'm customizing the shoe. What you talking about? But um, yeah, you can't find those nowhere, King. Okay? Those that's fully customized. Next, Air Maxes. Um, I actually don't know what number this is because I'm not really into Air Maxes like that. But um, this was an impulse buy. I believe I was just in the mall and um, I was with somebody and they was like, yo, you might as well just cop them. They wasn't even, I think they was like 130 or something like that. Look, some days I look at them and be like, yo, I kind of don't even really like these. Sometimes I'd be like, I'll throw them on. They look nice with a little fit not really too crazy to me i'm not i'm not crazy about air matches at all i've never been um just like the design of them never really never really made me like oh snap i gotta get them like it's not really a crazy shoe but yeah that's them another pair of pumas these are these are the basket collection i'm pretty sure my pops got me these too it's like a denim kind of fabric with the white bottom Real cool, real simple. Um, you can see they lace, so I wore them like once or twice. I don't really wear them like that, but you know, it's not the suede collection that I throw on at any time. These kind of like only like a summer shoe, but you know, they kind of just sit in here for when I just, I don't know, maybe I'll just pull them out like one day, like, oh, let me win. Um, I love, 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 love this shoe. I love this shoe. I always will love this shoe. I'm pretty sure this was like one of the first ever Nike running shoes. Y'all can see, I had mine for a little bit, so y'all can see it's kind of yellowing. But um, I still keep them joints clean, though. Don't ever play yourself. <laughs> but yeah, this is, uh, if you ever seen the movie uh, Forrest Gump, man, she bought him the first the first running shoes. These are called Nike Cortezes. Um, and almost on every website that I see them on, they be about to sell out. So I guess people up on game now. But this was also a 90s shoe. You get caught out in some fresh Cortezes, you going crazy. They used to throw them on with the sweatsuits and all that. Come on, man. That's a beautiful thing, bro. So I had to cop me a pair of those. Um, make sure I'm going to order. These are a very... I wanted these shoes for a very long time. You can see the gum bottom already. If you, if you ain't noticed already, I love a gum bottom. I really do love a gum bottom. But this shoe is an Asics. It's an Asics shoe. You can see the Asics right there. If you're not familiar with Asics, go look it up. This, these are called the Coca Asics, Coco or Coca. I'm pretty sure it's Coca, but it might be Coco. Um, you can see the detailing. Is it's, those stripes is white on this side, but then they green on this side. I got them from StockX. I ain't wear them yet. That's why that's still on there. It's a Concept Asics. You see right there on the, on the insole. Um, there's a difference between regular Asics and Concept Asics. Concept Asics are the ones that they try to like just get freaky with. You know what I'm saying? They throw like pictures and stuff on them, mad different crazy colors, mad different designs, stripes, shapes, all of that. But these, they just, you know, it's just like, yo, we're gonna do this. We're gonna put the concepts insole red. We're gonna make this side white. We're gonna make this side, you know what I'm saying? Um, and that was just a long, these shoes been a whole lot of money for my whole life. I remember I remember seeing them back in like 2016. And I was like, yo, I gotta cop those. But of course I wasn't making money like I was making, like how I'm making money now. I wasn't making that back then. So I was like, dang bro. But then when I peeped them and they seemed, they was somewhat affordable. You know what I'm saying? I paid a little penny, but they was, they was affordable. Um, I had to grab them. And then right after I grabbed them, they shot up to the price that they used to be. And I'm like, yo, that's God for real. <laughs> But um, next up we got, I got the joint falling out. Next up we got, I love this shoe. I love, love, love this shoe. These are Royal Toe Ones, right? I know y'all can tell from just, but look at the fabric though. That's fly knit fabric. Fly knit fabric. Royal Toe, fly knit one. 
Um, I love, love, you're gonna see two more pairs of these. One just came in. I love, love, love fly knit ones. Um, I got put on actually by Clarence, if you, the YouTuber, Clarence NYC. Um, I didn't even know this was a shoe. Like this fabric is not, it's mad loose. It's mad like, you know, like, I can't even think of something that I could compare it to, but it's like a, it's like a weave. Like it ain't the leather that usually be on ones. It's like weaved fabric and it's all, it's, it's called flyness. It's like breathable fabric. Yo, these shoes are, I'm telling you, if I could get every one in this fabric, I would. I would never get the leather ones if I could, if they made every one in this fabric. I love these shoes and the blue. I think the blue is my favorite one. And the shadows is my second favorite, but y'all gonna see that. But yeah, those are those are those are my planet ones right there. This little piece keep dropping out. My dad to throw it out the window for real. Uh, what we got next? What we got next? What we got next? Another pair of A6 classy, no basic. Look at the color on that. Yeah, them things is peach. You looking at it right? I believe these is called like the sand coral beach or sand beach or something like that gum bottom had these for a little bit that's why the bottom looked like that right there I had these for a little while but i believe they dead stock like i don't i believe you can't find these shoes like no more um like the light blue right there the little sky blue on the stripes then it got like purple speckles this is fire i always like these shoes and i believe when i cop them it's like with dunks like these when i cop them was like 60 70 dollars bro when i caught these it was like 60 70 dollars i'm pretty sure you try to go get some fly a6 man what are these gel light gel light fobs if you try to go get some fly gel light fobs any gel lights yo you paying at least 150 bro all them ronnie fee eggs and all of them you paying at least 150 for those and they do like the special boxes and everything yeah you 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 spending some money nowadays just like dunks dunks used to be 80 dollars in dick sporting goods now them things four or five hundred on stock X and I'm like, come on, bro. But another Puma suede. I told y'all they came in a whole bunch of different colors. I believe this color dead stock too, though. I don't think you could find. I mean, I could be wrong. Y'all could probably prove me wrong and pull it up right now for like seventy dollars somewhere, whatever. But when I was looking for them, I could not find this color. Like this color was the only color that I found. Green, pink, purple. That blue, I found all of those, I could never find orange. And when I found orange, it was like, oh, I gotta grab these. To this day, I only wore these twice. Twice or three times. Twice or three times. You could tell, because it ain't no black on the on the suede. That's how you know you wear them too much when it start getting like black. It starts blackening around like the, around the sole. I only wore these like two, three times, bro, had to. That was a great pickup, and I hope I stay at 12 forever because I want to keep those shoes forever. Uh, speed this up. Columbia 4s, y'all seen these on Thanksgiving. Come on, there we go. Y'all seen these on Thanksgiving, white with the navy blue. Seemed like a little bit of like green in there, like it's like iridescent or something, but with the Columbia blue on the Jordan sign. It's a cool little shoe for real. Throw it on. I think navy. I love navy blue. Navy blue is really one of my colors for real. Besides black, navy blue. I put that on that joint. Yeah, it's valid for real. Another pair of box. Just so y'all can see Reebok right there. Gum bottom. These is a little beat too. But you could look at the white though. The white ain't never crazy. You heard? <laughs> it's like nah. Uh, you see that color? That color blue, somebody bought these for me. It was a real special gift. Um, you can see the way they lay. I sometimes, am I the only one? Yo, when they come like that, sometimes I really do not. I like to have them like that. Cause then people know like, it's not even about people. I know they knew, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I like the way it just sit on there. The laces just sit on there real cool, real clean. Depending on how you put them on, it's fly, bro. I don't even be unlacing them sometimes unless they come wild tight. And then you be like, all right, chill, chill, chill. Uh, these are a pair of shoes that I don't even wear that much. So Coney, you could tell because they type dirty. I don't even be, I probably wore these like twice. And I think I wore them in like one of the dirtiest places the way they looking. But a uh, pair of Ciccone's. Y'all know I got a, I got a bro to my horizons, bro. That's how you notice the Coney right there. 
there's another blue sneaker white bottom you can see that they dirty um but yeah Ciccone, uh pretty sure that was an impulse buy i probably just seen it probably wasn't too crazy for the price so i just grabbed them regular me stuff uh satin fives the bread joints icy bottom you can tell that's this oxidizing a little bit um that's the satin joint little paint speckles on the you know what i'm saying real cool shoe and then they got like the 3m on the tongue it's a real cool shoe i've seen them and i've never seen a satin shoe before besides the satin ones so i just was like and you know i can't get those because they women's so i just was like you know i'm gonna cop these whatever and it's my first pair of five so i was like whatever i'm gonna grab them um, I'm trying to get every number, but I don't really like every number, bro. I really don't like every number, so I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Like tens, I can't rock with tens, for real. For some reason, I just don't like them. Hey, oh, this, this is this just came in, packing a mail a couple days ago. Here are the Flyknit Shadows. Oh my gosh, I love this shoe, bro. Like I love this shoe. Um, it was it was selling out. I got them off StockX. It was selling out. It was selling out for weeks. When I first seen them, I think they was like 175 or something like that. And I was like, you ever put something, you ever deferred a purchase? Like, all right, all right, I'm gonna get it. Not even to when you get paid. Like you got the money right there, but you like, I've been spending a little too much. So let me just tell, I did that for months. Them joints were sold out in my size, months. I seen him the other day again. Paid a little penny for him. You know what I'm saying? Cause this one of the dead stock knit fly knits. But yo, oh my god, I finally got him, son. I sat and hugged him for like 20 minutes when I first got him. I ain't even lace him nothing. Just was hugging him joints. Like <laughs> just happy to be there, take Bob. These is dirty. I'ma let y'all know right now. I wore these to my boy backyard party. I don't know why I wore them to his backyard party. The pure money threes. Um. He had a backyard. Look at the bottom. Oh my gosh, I gotta clean these. But whatever, it's cool. I'll make them look brand new as soon as I get the as soon as I get the toothbrush with the music on, make them things look brand new. But yeah. Uh pure money threes. He had a backyard party and I'm like, yo, I had to wear a white shoe because of the shirt and the hat and all that I had on. And this was the only white shoe I had that was fly. So I'm like, yo, I just gotta throw them on, bro. I'm gonna clean them anyway. Uh pair of sixes. The Milan joints, um, the St. Germain, when they went over to Paris, this was what inspired this. Um, I think it says, it says Paris right there, yeah. Right there, it says Paris. I think it's like an orangey reddish on the Jordan sign in the clip. And then it says, I don't even know what that means for real. I really don't, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, these was the Paris St. Germain sixes pick these up because i never seen i ain't i ain't even know he did something like related to paris i know they went there michael jordan and them the 90 what was it 95 bulls that went there 96 something like that but yeah that's those core purple ones this was also a special gift it was a great gift um i was gonna buy these but you know you have a like the same thing you just get scared of the price like you got the money but you like yo bro i'm not trying to spend that um but yeah somebody bought these for me it was a really special gift um and yeah great pickup for real wore them twice i think i wore them twice can't really wear those too much because i just i don't know i want to you you got some shoes that you just want to cherish you know what i'm saying because of the colorway and all of that that's one of those shoes um What's the aqua yeah aqua right aqua eight aqua eights i know you've seen these before your boyfriend probably got these your man's probably got these I, when i copped them i copped them from my boy bash what up bro um and he just was like you know what i'm saying he, he wanted me to cop them he wanted me to cop them he wanted me to cop them i was like ah i don't know i don't know but then when i seen him i was like yeah these He's just tight fire, but you know, I know this wasn't gonna be like a shootout I was gonna stand out with. I know Matt, I know a couple of cats with these, but it's still a good shoe. First pair of eights, whatever, cop up. Another pair of Asics. I believe these are the Chinese something. I don't think they Chinese New Year, but I, they Chinese something. Cause you can see like the, the writing right there. 
Um, but it's Chinese something. It might be Chinese New Year, but I don't know. I feel like I feel like that's a little wrong. Another pair of gel like fives. That's how you could tell right there. If y'all wondering where I'm getting that from, I'm not just pulling it out the air. Um, but yeah, that's those. That was another quick pickup impulse buy. I was just shopping online, just seeing them. I was like, oh, I'm gonna grab these. All red Harajis. I know y'all seen these before. These used to be like, if you had these, bro. It was that back in the day. I don't even like two, three years ago when they first dropped. If you had them, because they were selling out. These are also. I was about to forget. These are custom. Nike ID. When I was in school, it was one day. You see that K? It was one day I was walking up the stairs, and you know how, like when you go. I ain't about to try to play nobody out. When you go to a school with people that don't really care about stuff like that. And they like, it was a little, little, little geek that was walking behind me too quick and stepped on it and took off the piece. I'm like, yo, bro, I really should kill you and stomp your mouth out. But you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? I was cool, whatever. It's still there. It says keep up. Um, I was tight for a little minute, but you know, got over it. He ain't mean it. I'm pretty sure he said sorry too. So. If you, you probably not ever gonna see this video, but if you did that, I forgive you, King. I forgive you. But uh, another pair of flyness. I told y'all I love these shoes. Like, I really do love these shoes. These are the bread flyness, uh, 1985 joints, the red ones. So I got, y'all done seen red, blue, and gray so far. Y'all done seen the royal toes, the shadows, and the breads, all flyness. That's how you could that's how you could tell right there. I really love this shoe. Like I really do. They have more colorways, but I just don't like them. They got like one where it's all gray and it's a gum bottom. And it's like one side of the Nike check is red, other side is I don't really like the rest of them. But um like wheat ones and all that, yeah, I don't really like those. Um I know y'all seen these before, pine green lows. Um, I think people really sleep on lows, honestly. People sleep on lows. I think social media and everything else makes people think like, yo, if you wear lows, you a goofy. If you wear lows, you a lame. There's nobody I know that could tell me that I'm a lame with these lows on. I get flyed in 90% of the people I know. Probably all of them. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, it's no, you can't say nothing to me, gang. You could talk all of that about them people you see online. I'll throw on some. It's really lows that people sleep on. These is one. The the end mids. Don't get me wrong, bro. I feel like when you into fashion, you don't care what people want to see with the trend. Everybody want highs. Everybody want Jordan one hot. Nah, boy. The Milan, the Paris mids go crazy, and the lows. It's lows that's really fire. That people. It's Chinese New Year lows that's about to drop. Like them joints is going crazy. Like people really sleep on this stuff because. You and your mans feel like, you know, y'all used to getting high. So you and your mans feel like, oh, whoever gets lows is a goofy. Like, you, your, your boyfriend got lows on. Yeah, these lows cost more than your mother car note. Stop talking to me, King. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? But on to the next one, pair of 13s. First pair of 13s. I believe these is called the Gammas. Or they might be they might be the gammas or they might be the black black tie or something like that because of the navy blue on the bottom i wore these like three times um nothing crazy it was these or the court purples when i bought them and these i never seen nobody with these i never seen nobody with these so I, they stood out so i was like all right i'm gonna just cop the crazy thing was the first day i put them on i was in new york and this girl got on the train with him this joint, she was in the joint. She got on the train with him. Hers was beat. Yeah, I was looking at her like, I'm about to throw mine on the tracks. What does she got on my shoes for? Like, I hate being out and somebody got on the same thing as me. I'm gonna take mine off. What do I got it on for if you got it on? All right, come on, bro. Last but not least, last but not least, <laughs> top three ones. Um, Spent a little bit of checking on these. You know how that go, but. I love the shoe. The funny thing about it is when they first came out, I ain't like them. When they first came out, I did not like these shoes. Like I was looking at these shoes like, bro, these is ugly. And um, a couple cats around me had copped up. And I was like, it stopped us again, y'all. Cause I, this video dumb long, but yeah. 
cops I started to see them more often, I was like, yo, I'm a cop up, like whatever. And I had spent a little pretty penny on them, but I got them. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I got them, they in my collection. Uh, but that's it for the video. This video already long, you know what I'm saying? So I hope y'all enjoy watching. I hope you watch through it, you know what I'm saying? I hope you got a laugh off from something I said. And I hope you could, I hope you like it. I hope you like, comment on it, you know what I'm saying? Comment what else y'all wanna see. I told y'all I'm gonna do probably a jewelry collection very soon. Um, I'm gonna try to get a whole bunch of stuff done for y'all. I'm gonna go link out with my boy today, probably make like two, three more videos. We we, we popping it off for y'all. I know I said I might do them other hats in the video, but I'm gonna leave them black nasties. I might just like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with those forever, but thank you for watching. Like I said, subscribe, like, comment. I'm here, you know what I'm saying? Dropping heat for y'all whenever I can. We consistent, we doing this. We on the tube, work. We are here, you work. Y'all can holla at Hari, I'ma holla at y'all. The cab is the cabinet. They trust me at landing it. They call me the advocate. They'll slide like an advocate.